And we are back! How's it going, nerds? Good to see you. Welcome back to Empire of Sin. We are currently at war with the Jenna crime family. You might be wondering, how did that happen? Well, this video is being recorded after the overview video that I did for Empire of Sin. If you haven't seen that yet, I will try to go ahead and link it either in the description or the comment section. But uh, yeah, this video is being recorded after that. And uh, the Jenna crime family are not very happy with me because I've been taking over things in a few different neighborhoods. Uh, now, we are being attacked by them here, and you did see that pop up at the beginning there, which made reference to, do I want to fight, do I want to abandon, etc., etc. I've actually not seen that pop up before. I don't know if that's a new thing or what that is, to be totally honest. But uh, it's, it's kind of cool that we get that option. Now... I'm not really sure that we're going to be able to win this fight here. But I'm going to try and win this fight. There's apparently a 33% chance that I will win this fight against the Jenna crime family. And looking at it, it's it's kind of looking like there's a solid chance that I might because they keep running out into the open. So let's go ahead and get a 55% chance. That's a miss. That is a rough miss to have, but I'll take it. This fella's gonna move up now. Are they gonna attack or you're gonna move back? I think we might have them stuck in a perpetual loop of moving back and forth here. Which honestly, I'm not gonna complain about too much. Because this fella here, if he keeps moving back and forth, I mean, he might be able to attack here, yeah. Oh, he's going with a meat hook. That's actually gonna be rough because this other one, this other guard over here might actually do some attacking. Which, uh, no. No, they won't. Going for the reload. That's... Actually, a little bit unexpected, to be honest. Let's go for a reload ourselves and see if we can, uh, 55, 55. Let's try and kill this guy. There it is. All right. That puts me in a pretty good spot, but we are getting countered, and it did connect. 85% chance. What can we do? Shotgun blast. 55% chance. Melee wouldn't do much. Let's take the 55. And we got the hit. That's not terrible. We might have wanted to move, to be honest. Because, uh, as it stands, I think, uh, I think we're going to want to move and do... We could reload. I'm thinking heal. I'm thinking moving and healing is going to be my better bet. Because this person here, yeah, they're going to move up. Now, they've moved up and reloaded, which gives me a turn to reload myself. And then maybe do some damage. 25% chance. Come on. There it is. Now that could turn things. Got it. That could turn things. Now, assuming that their attack doesn't crit. Well, we're okay. 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 That's not terrible. 25% chance. Come on. Come on. Give it. Oh, no. Ah, oh, that's bad. Yeah. There it is. That's not the end of the world, though. They are going to get into... Oh, they're attacking something else. 49% chance of winning. I'm not going to get a... Ch oh, my God. I'm not actually going to get much of a chance to do anything here if they keep just constantly attacking me, am I? I don't want to abandon these fights either, but I think... Oh, what, wait, what the hell was that? Seriously, you just grenaded one of my people? This is gonna this is actually gonna be a rough fight. I'm gonna have to uh not take these fights with the Jenna Crime family, I think. And instead, I think I'm gonna have to uh wait, aren't there three of them? Oh, there's one right there. Interesting. Um, yeah, I think what we might have to do is maybe go ahead and uh first off shoot you for a pretty good hit. Uh, but I think what we might have to do is potentially look at upgrading some of some of our guards. Now, let's see if we can kill you. Oh, come on. Why was that a miss? That was pathetic. All right, 30% chance. Come on. Come on. There it is. All right, down to one HP on that person. That might cause them to do some healing. Seriously? Another dynamite stick? Are you kidding me? Now, that miss is good. Are you going to heal? You know, you're going to attack and you got the hit in, but that's that's fine. You're probably going to die. Uh, let's see. 55%, 25%, 17%. 
it might make more sense to move you and heal you. Let's do Moving that. In. Let's try and move you and heal you. Moving in. And see if we can't uh, keep you alive. Now, you have a 60% chance of hitting that guy. I want you to... Oh, who do I want you to shoot? That's the question. Do I want you to shoot that one and injure him? I'm going to take that chance. And you missed. Of course you did. Of course you did. All right, 30% chance. Get the kill. Get the kill. Come on. And it's a miss. Of course it is. I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to accept that we can't do all of these fights with the Jenna Crime family. And I think on top of that, we're going to need to go pretty hard against their safe house is what I'm thinking. So what are the chances here? 25, 8. I don't know why that's an 8% chance. I mean, I know it's a long range rifle that we're using, but an 8% chance seems a little strange, but... All right, let's take the 60 and see if we can kill that guard with the 1 HP. We absolutely can. Let's take the uh, absolutely nothing there. Okay, let's move you up a little bit and see what we can get you to do. Now, a 60% chance to hit this guy. Please don't miss. Thank you. That's exactly what we needed you to, uh, to do there. Uh, you need to reload. And can you shoot from there? 0% chance. I'll take it anyway. You never know. It might be 0 0.1, which is still technically a chance. So, better than nothing. Now, what are you doing? Oh, you're running to cover. And you're also running to cover, I guess. That's brave. 55% uh, or 30%. I kind of want to take the 30. And it was a miss. That was a waste of time. Okay. You, 55%. Come on. Don't miss. Don't miss. Or miss. That's fine. Okay, I'm really glad that we uh, we took that chance. And you, can you hit him? Okay, well, at least we got that going for us. Now, here's the thing with this person. They have an SMG, SM, well, they have a Thompson. And it, it's at a, at a bit of a distance there. That's kind of what I noticed. I'm, I was kind of expecting them to miss there, being, uh, being totally honest. 30% chance, let's take it and miss. I love it. I love it. Let's try and get them uh, with a... There we go. I think that was a 35, which is honestly... I mean, fair enough. I suppose. Uh, 45, come on. Don't... There it is. All right. This puts us in a pretty good spot. Let's hopefully kill this person. And let's... 30% uh, chance. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. These misses, though. All right, 35. And there it is. All right. Here's what I'm thinking, all right? Get out of combat and pause. And I'm going to keep the game paused for a second because I want to see where the Jenna Crime family is attacking me. So, Fulton Market is not their territory. I have taken some places in Fulton Market, and I think that's where the Jenna Crime family might be annoyed. Uh, looking over here, they are targeting, by the looks of it, the treasury. So let's go to the treasury and let's upgrade security and let's rush it a little bit. And while we're at it, let's upgrade the ambience a little bit. And let's upgrade the games a little bit. So it, it's going to bring in more money to try and counter the, the security there. Obviously, security is going to cost money as well, but a little bit less. Uh, now... Let's have a look at Little Italy, which is somewhere that the uh, Jenna Crime family holds dear. And I'm sure they're not going to be thrilled about me having territory in. East Pilsen is somewhere that they do have people on the ground. And I don't know what they're targeting uh, these guys here. So we're not going to worry too much about that. Uh, Chinatown, it looks, yeah, they're targeting uh, bottoms up there. And are they targeting anywhere else? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, now, Bottoms Up doesn't have great security. So, let's go ahead and upgrade that nice and rapidly. And we'll upgrade the uh, ambience as well. Just to, uh, just to bring in a little bit more money there. Uh, so, that'll be better security for that. Near South Side is not somewhere I need to worry about. Uh, let's see. South Loop. That is somewhere we need to worry about. They do have some territory, a little bit of territory in there. 
Now, it doesn't look like they're targeting anywhere in South Loop. I would honestly be inclined to go and try and attack their businesses in South Loop and take those over. And I would be inclined to do the same in Chinatown as well. I would be very, very tempted to uh, to do that. Although that, I think that's where their main safe house might be. I would imagine it would be Little little Italy, though, would be the, uh, the main one. Going to be difficult to tell. Either way, I think we've managed to upgrade security in the places that they are currently looking to attack. I'm not really seeing anything else from them at the minute. Uh, did we do this one already? The treasury? I think we did upgrade that. We did. Uh, let's have a little look at this. Let's see. Would they accept a truce? Let's give it a shot. No, they think we're gonna, they're gonna crush me instead. Okay. They do have more gangsters than I do. That is, that is fair enough. But I reckon I will be fine. So, if they want to play it that way, then I reckon what we do is we go to the South Loop and we uh, we start taking what businesses they have left. So let's travel here and uh, let's hit ambush and let's see if we can uh, very quickly go ahead and put some of these guards down and just uh, go ahead and absolutely, absolutely destroy them. If they want a war, you know, if they want a battle, we'll give them a war is the way I see it. Now let's go ahead and attack this place. I think it was a brewery. The treasury is under attack by the Jenna crime family. Okay. Okay. Ah, it's this one. So this is the one uh, that we lost, I believe. Uh, that person is pretty badly injured. So I don't think we're going to be... I don't think we're going to be struggling too much. This is one place that we just upgraded as well. And this guy has a sniper. So let's have him aim there. And let's have you. 70% chance. I like those odds. And uh, you get to fire again since it was a pistol. So go ahead and take it again. And you missed. <laughs> Oh, you absolute disappointment. Okay, well, fair enough. Fair, fair enough, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe that. I honestly, honestly cannot believe that that was a miss. But whatever. Whatever. Uh, let's put you into that spot right there. You've been injured. Can you fin- There we go. Okay. So the treasury is safe. We don't need to worry about it. Uh, let's confirm the attack on this depot. And uh, I think this is going to be a nice, uh, nice quick battle. To be, uh, to be totally honest, they have three guards back there. We don't really have line of sight on them right now, but I think I might get line of sight on this guy. I absolutely will. So let's go ahead and uh, well, we didn't put him down, but that's fine by me. Uh, let's move R into Understood. this position. Because then I reckon that we can uh, put this guy down. There it is. A crit of 139. Now that is serious, serious damage. Marlena, can I get you to put someone down? 65% and you missed. Fantastic, Marlena. I've never been more proud. I'm on it. I have never been more proud than I am right now. Uh, let's see, Grover, 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 Grover. Let's get you to move up here. You got it. And let's see if we can get Grover to uh, do something or other. Well, you're moving up that way, putting yourself in a position where you might be able to shoot. But it's looking me, 62%. I reckon move Maria up a little bit. And then we go for the attack at 68%. And miss completely. All right, then. Well, that's... That's, uh, <laughs> that's, I, 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 I don't know what that is, honestly. It's a little disappointing that every shot missed, but fair enough. 37% chance. And one of them got him. So, I mean, I'll take it. And you're going for a, you're going for a melee attack, really. And you missed. Again, I've never, never been more proud than I am right now. 94%. That guy's been put down. Uh, R, let's get... Oh, that's Daniel that can move here. I mean, I guess, R, you can just move over here. That ridiculous distance that you can move. And then uh, Marlena with a 100% chance. Can I get you to... Uh, can I feasibly get you to kill this guy in one turn? I don't think I can, so let's just double tap him. And miss both. I'm honestly slightly impressed. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely, 
impressed at some of these misses. It's it's ridiculous. Now, let's take this over and keep it as a uh, brewery. They're attacking me, really? Good lord. Wait, this was a, this is a street fight, isn't it? Oh, for God's sake, I shouldn't have taken this. I didn't need to take this. Uh, now, that sniper is going to hit pretty hard. 45 and 20. Uh, let's take the 45. <laughs> oh, that's what I like to see. All right, 80% chance. Beautiful. Now, you're going to shoot back, of course, but that was a hit. That was beautiful. 20%. Now, I want to move you away and see if the chances of hitting them go up a little bit. Do they? Oh, I can't do it. All right, we'll reload. That's fine. So you're going to reload. You're going to go for 80% chance to hit. And you get him. All right. He's going to shoot back. But again, he's he's probably looking to be, to be done here. Now, 65%. A crit of 115. That's a little ridiculous, but I'll take it. Let's go ahead and pause. Let's zoom out and see what exactly we're doing next. Now, my people are in here. We have a Janet Crime Family Casino down there. We've got, uh, let's see. These guys here are probably going to be a pretty fair match for my guards. So let's go ahead and upgrade this place a little bit and bring the ambience up as well. And let's just do that. So this place is going to have much higher security, which is probably for the best in case the Jennas happen to uh, to attack. And it doesn't look like there is a target on anywhere else uh, that I own at the minute. At least not that I can see. So let's travel down here. We'll keep the game paused. We'll go ahead and pop an ambush on this place. And I think it only has the one guard. So uh, honestly, I mean, I would say I feel bad for them, but they picked the losing side. So, you know, uh, it's their problem. Let's attack this place and completely take over this neighborhood. Absolutely. Get this done nice and quickly. They have one. If, do they really have one guard here? I think they might. I really think they uh, they might just have the one guard. Take care of it. That's interesting. All right, ninety nine percent chance. Oh no, they do. They do have another guard. Uh, the other one is right there. Daniel, what are the chances? Eighty three percent. I like it. Are we done? Is is that, is that, that is it. That is actually it. Okay. So we've taken this over and now there are no other gangs in this neighborhood, I don't believe. We'll keep the game paused again just while we take a look. Obviously, there's thugs in uh, South Loop, but the Jenna crime family is gone, which is fantastic. So we could take over the thug buildings. I'm not really bothered about that. Would you be interested in a truce? You think you're going to crush me? I don't know about that. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know about that. Apparently, I've lost one gangster. They've lost 19. Interesting. Okay. Well, if they want me to keep going, I will keep going. Let's uh, let's see. This safe house here. What are we looking at? It is pretty well upgraded. That's, that's terrifying. That is, that is slightly terrifying. Okay. Okay. What about... What about the Chinatown safe house? How well upgraded does it happen to be? Now, it's not as well upgraded in terms of security, so... I reckon we go try and take over Chinatown. Is what I reckon we do. So let's go travel to this brothel. And let's, uh, let's ambush as we do. And let's finish this guy off nice and quick. They wanted this fight, and they don't want to turn it down, so I am willing to uh, just keep taking over their territory until they decide to either go for a truce, or quite frankly, what's probably considerably more likely is that uh, I just kill them completely. All of them. Every single one. Just kill them. Dead. And we'll be done with the Jenna crime family at that point. Now, let's move uh, Daniel up to there. Let's move Marlena into, I want to say here, but I'm almost tempted to do an overwatch on uh, on that position, but we'll we'll go for there. We'll move good old Clyde into, uh, into that space next to Marlena. 
We'll move Grover. Uh, actually, Grover, you can overwatch there because if this person tries to, yeah, do that, do exactly that, we kill them dead. <laughs> All right. That is going to be my brothel. Red Roses is a beautiful name. All right. So that is mine. Uh, they're probably at the point where they would be willing to go for a truce, but I'm not going to allow them to uh, to do that. Let's let's take a risk. Uh, let's 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 travel to their safe house. The game is still paused. I'm gonna. Uh, what are we doing? What are, I, something just popped up and I hit escape. I think I just skipped over a fight. I think I just, I think I just skipped. I wanted to pause. I didn't want to skip over the fight. But I think I just skipped over and therefore simulated a fight. I'm not really sure what I just did. I'm not really sure why the game's loading either. I think it might have, it might have bugged. <laughs> it's kind of hard to know. Hello. Empire of Sin. A really bad time. Really, uh. Really, really bad timing there. <laughs> okay, so apparently the game didn't autosave once in everything that it just did. Uh, so that's frustrating. Uh, I, I, I could, I could absolutely just throw out everything I just did because technically it didn't happen. And you know, you might be thinking to yourself, well, why did we just watch that entire episode? Um, honestly, the reason is because I'm just going to go do this. We're just going to go straight to the safe house anyway. This is this is kind of the culmination of everything we just did. I'll just go take everything else over regardless. I mean, if I kill Angelo, Jenna, then I take everything anyway. So we're just going to kind of... We're kind of just going to do it this way. <laughs> we're kind of just going to be like, you know what? We're just going to kill them. And we're going to just... We're just going to take everything, right? We're just going to be more direct in how we do things, including, you know, killing that person and then, you know, trying to uh, kill this guy. So let's go for a nice crit 92 and then this guy's going to overwatch and then uh, we're going to do this and kill that guy for some reason. That's not that is not what I, that's not what I wanted to do, but OK, 65 uh, percent. There it is. All right, so the guards are dead. Now, I got some things I want to pause. I do not want to be alerted to an attack. I want to attack the safe house. Okay, what is it? Why is it? No, oh, I thought it was doing that thing again. Okay, right. Are we? Yeah, we are here. All right, so what can we do? We have a 100% chance to hit that person. I don't even know if Angelo Jenna's here. I don't think Angelo Jenna is here, so I'm just going to take this safe house, I guess. That's fine. That's, yeah, that's weird, but fine. Um, all right. Let's kill that guy. That's fine by me. And then Daniel with a pretty solid chance of hitting that person and that person and 98 on that one. Let's do the 98 because we might get the kill. We absolutely did. And now, uh, now they all get to move around. Let's maybe put Daniel in a... Uh, he's in pretty good cover there, but I'd like to move him up a little bit. So, we'll move him to there. You're going to move. Now, that's 108 hit points. That's that's considerable. 110 is also quite impressive, truth be told. You're doing Overwatch, which has me worried. And you're moving forward. Now, what can I do about this Overwatch? 40% chance. I kind of need to try. And I got the hit, which might have broken the Overwatch. Yeah, it absolutely did. That's perfect. Okay. Clyde, let's move you up to here. And get you into some cover. And then let's take a cheeky shot and see what we can do. Uh, 70%. I like those odds. We got the hit. And now this fellow's going to move. He's got a sort off shotgun, so he has to get pretty close. In fact, I think they all have shotguns, so they all kind of need to get close. Uh, Grover, 100% chance on you, 100% uh, chance on you, and 100 on you. Let's do the 100% chance on the 110 HP. Bring that guy down a little bit. What about you? 77% chance. Let's take it, because we might be able to kill him. And we did. 
which is what we want. Now, Jez Murphy with the 56. Let's take that chance. See if we can get a kill, which we can. Okay, we are in a pretty good spot here. We're actually in a really good spot here. I don't care about that person. I do care about killing you. Okay, this is this is going well. 100% chance there. Let's take it. See what we can do. A couple of crits might... Well, they didn't kill them, but I got a bleeding trait there, so that's fine. You can patch yourself up all you want. Wait, what? Oh! Okay. Okay, we're doing this, are we? Well, I see how it's going to be. Let's uh, go for the miss. That's great. Clyde, what can you do? 100% chance. Clyde, honestly, mate, I would rather you got into cover first. All right. So I'd rather you fall back, and then you can try and murder them, Shit. and you can get a good hit on them. And uh, Grover, 100% or 100%. Let's take 100%. There we go. Okay. So now we're in a position where we need to wait on this fella coming forward. So let's just try and kill the people while they're down, I guess. And 56% uh, chance. Job done. And now I guess we just start moving up. So let's move R into this position. We can move Daniel into hopefully about here, which we absolutely can. So we'll do that. And at this point, I think we're just waiting on uh, on this guy coming forward, which hopefully he's not going to do. Wait, what is he doing? Really? That was... I should have figured that he would have line of sight from there. That's... Yeah, that was, that was, that was me being an idiot is what that was being. Fair enough. Okay, well... Let's move Clyde into that position. And we'll just keep moving everybody up until they are in a spot where they can hopefully fire. This safe house, though, going to be mine nice and quickly. Hopefully, the uh, Jenna crime family is going to realize that they have completely messed up here. Well, they're not going to realize anything because the save, there wasn't one. And the game got weird and had to be reloaded. But other than that detail, you know, hopefully they'll realize that I am a force... To, uh, to be reckoned with. 84% chance. And we got the hit and we got bleeding. So that's good. We got 68% chance. Let's take that chance and see what we can do. We got some hits in. That's good. Now this guy is... He is moving. Can Clyde hit him? Is going to be my question. In fact, could Marlena hit him from there? Uh, the answer is going to be a solid no. So let's put Marlena in cover. Let's see what Clyde can do. 80% chance. Let's take it. You got this, Clyde. Don't let us down. There it is. Okay. So. What next? This is uh, this is mine. It absolutely is. Okay. Uh, so we can't keep it as a safe house. Let's be, uh, let's be clever here. Let's turn it into a casino. We'll keep it as Jackpot. I think that's a pretty accurate name. Not going to worry about upgrading it. Because my next plan, to be quite frank, is honestly, well, I say not worried about upgrading it. I would be tempted to maybe upgrade security in a few of these places, but I'm honestly just more inclined to go straight to Little Italy and see if we can't take out the, uh, the other Jenna safe house. So let's travel there. Let's keep the game uh, paused when we do. And uh, let's go straight for the ambush. So, let's see what we can do. We got 100, we got 100. Let's hit the guy with the 100 HP first. And do some uh, do some good damage there. Overwatch kicks in and he's dead, which is fantastic. Now they move and now we get to attack them with R. We're attacking that guy as well, apparently. That's news to me. Uh, 96 or 96. Let's do this one. Get some hits in. I'd imagine they're going to overwatch. Interesting. Both are overwatching. Interesting. Well, that one's dead. And, uh, this one's going to be. That's brave. That's, that's, that's brave overwatching like that. But okay. Grover, finish them off, please. Thank you, sir. And, uh, wow. Okay. Let's pause, because this is going to be more of a fight than the last one. 
let's make sure we have everything that we're going to need because I reckon what we might want to do. Now, Daniel is pretty good at uh, Daniel is pretty good at having a chance to critically injure someone. I think maybe where is R? So R is there. I reckon high impact rounds could be very useful. I also reckon we have a few grenades. So let's go down the line and let's give some people some grenades. Because I reckon we could do a lot with a few of these. So three of them have grenades. We're going to give you a grenade as well. We're also going to give you, I guess, a doctor's bag just in case. Do we have any more grenades? We have one more in storage and we'll give you a doctor's bag as well. We're going to give you a doctor's bag and we're just going to make sure that they're they're equipped uh, with, you know, at least some degree of, of medicine, which I think they all are at this point. So I think we're probably we're probably set to do this. Okay. So let's go ahead and attack this safe house. And let's see here. So Maria's friend Gail Grady is in Angelo Jenna's crew. Interesting. Arlena's friend is in here as well. That complicates things, but we're going to see what we can do now. Where is oh, there's a lot of them. Where is Angelo? Jenna. Angelo Jenna's back there with 170 hit points and a lot of guards, but they are uh, varying degrees of strong. Nothing that I can't necessarily deal with. Now, what I do want to make sure is that we have got some degree of cover going on here. So let's put Daniel in that spot. And uh, now Angelo can move forward a little bit. What I would really like to do here is, quite frankly, I would like to get, uh, I would like to get us into a position I'll handle it. where we can kill Angelo and then get out. But I don't really see that happening. But I guess we'll give it a shot. Now, suppressing fire on Daniel is fine. I want one of them to move into, uh, Oh, wow. Okay. That's, that's interesting. All right. I want one of them to move into that area of, uh, of Overwatch, to be totally honest. Now, Gale is not going to do it. Moving in. This guard is probably not going to do it either. I get the feeling we are going to have to fight through a lot here. We're, we're going to have to pretty much fight everything. I really don't want to have to... I don't want to have to lose people, but I think that's going to end up happening. So let's go ahead and move my people into this wall right here. Because what I think is about to happen now, can you, you can shoot 55% chance on that person. Now, can I get you into a decent spot of cover? I can get you into cover there, which is a very, very vulnerable position, but probably lines you up a little bit better. Let's take this chance. Right. Clyde is one that I don't want to lose, and he is using an auto five shotgun. But a 70% chance, a 70% chance, a 65, a 55, a 50, a 35, a 25, a 70. Let's take the 70 and miss. Okay. Okay. Well, I am glad that uh, I'm glad that we had that miss. That's fantastic. I'm glad he missed Daniel as well, so no complaints there. Now things might get interesting. There's what I'm looking for. Cheeky overwatch shot. That's what we needed. That is what we needed. We needed the overwatch to kick in so we can get the uh, the first kill there. Let's move Maria up to here. And let's see if we can get Jazz Murphy into a spot where Jazz can do some attacking. Now, I doubt, well, I say I doubt it. We can actually go to here and probably get some shots in. 
So let's see. 56% chance. Let's take it. We can... Uh, oh my god, the guy's 1 HP. All right. Well, fair enough. Uh, you know, he's moving forward. I think he might be melee attacking, if anything, but... To each their own, I guess. Uh, I, don't, I feel like I don't want to waste... I feel like I really don't want to waste a move on this guy. I mean, it's a hundred percent chance. It's a hundred on that one. It's a hundred on that one. Now, Gale is a friend of someone, but we might be able to put that guy down. So I want to take that chance, even if we do get some. There we go. Now that's what I wanted. Uh, let's go ahead and end the turn. So, wait, what are you doing? What are we? What, I don't want to move him. Let's uh, skip the move. Let's do this. Angelo is moving forward. Angelo has a sniper. No, he doesn't. I think he has an LMG, actually. So hold on a minute. What is that? Uh, is that a sniper or an LMG? It's it's an LMG. Okay, that's actually not terrible. Okay, let's put uh, R into this position. And let's see if we can't uh, do a little bit of damage. Now, 100% chance, 100% chance, 94% chance. Let's do the 94 on Angelo. And we got the hit, which is fantastic. 43 points of damage with a grenade coming right at us. That's bad. Eww. Okay. Clyde is worried. We'll be all right. This is why... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is why we... Oh, my God. What are you doing? I'm returning fire, apparently. Okay. What the hell is this? Oh, my God. Daniel is in a really rough spot there. This fella's moving. Please tell me he's not attacking. He's not. Oh my god, what the hell? Okay. Okay. Who is bad now? R is hurting real bad. R is hurting real, real bad now. 0% chance on that. Let's go for the heal on R. Because R is someone that we cannot afford to lose right now. Now, Maria's in a position to fire. Let's kill this guy. It gives us something. It's it's a start. 65% there. Or 55% there. I really don't want to kill anybody. But. Being totally honest. Oh, sorry. Did I just say I don't want to kill anybody? I don't want to lose anybody. Um, I don't want to kill the friends here, but I feel like that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, so let's grenade that spot and take out the guy that's that's been uh, that's been downed. So he should be dead now, which he absolutely is. Uh, Grover, I want to move you to that spot because you can do some shooting from there. And what you can do is hit that guy or Angelo Jenna, perhaps. 100% chance. I like those odds. But I think we're going to have to kill everybody, so... Maybe, uh, maybe that's the way we do it. What are the chances for a crit on Angelo? 29%? I want to take that chance, I think. There it is. We got the crit and he's bleeding. So that puts us in a good spot. Maria is firing at Gracie. I could swear Maria wasn't supposed to be firing at Gracie, but... Sure. We got a hit in there, which I'm not going to complain about. Maria absolutely going ham on Gracie. All right, Jazz, what can I get you to do for me? Now, I could get Jazz into this position. Let's go. Which I don't think is going to hurt. And then Jazz, 56%. Or 21. Let's take the 56. And see if we... Nah, we can't kill that guy at all. That's fine. Okay. We're not in a terrible spot right now. What are the chances hitting Angelo? 73. Let's take it. Let's see if we can put him down. We can put him down so he doesn't get a turn. Good. Good, good, good. Let's skip that move and let's see. R, what can I get you to do? 100% chance. 99% chance. I want to take that 99. Let's try and kill that guy. Really? We didn't? Okay, that's, that's rough. That is rough. Oh, not a grenade, not a grenade. Oh, hold on a minute. Now, I know what that is. That's a timed bomb. Interesting. Interesting. Now, you're bleeding a little bit. You're moving. That's fine. If we can kill Angelo, we can leave. 
We're still in a position where we can do that. We're still in a position where we can kill him and get out of here. And we're good. I think we need to do that. We at least need to try and do that. So. Let's see. What are the chances of hitting Angelo from here? Angelo, 5%. That is not going to be good enough. We need to hit someone else. We need to hit this guy. That's a 25%. That is not good. In fact, if anything, what we really need to be doing is uh, moving people out of this area. So let's move. I don't want to move up, but I kind of need to. Let's maybe move to... Uh, Oh boy, uh, Marlena is someone that Understood. I don't want to lose, but also needs to be close to get some hits in. So 20% chance from there, and we missed. That's not okay, but it's just going to be the way of it. Now, what are the chances hitting Angela? 30%? That's not great. What are the chances hitting this guy? 70%. That I don't hate. What about this guy? 65 55. Suppose I could leave Grover. You know what? 70%. Let's take those odds. And let's get that hit in. Because what I can do is a Grover. I don't want to do what I'm about to do with Grover. I'm going to put him in the open. We might lose him by doing this. But I need to do it. I need to put him there. And what I need to do is see if I can get Grover. 100% to kill Angelo. There's the kill. So now Angelo's dead. Let's... I mean, we could grenade this guy. I think I'd much rather move and see if we can start leaving. I think that might be more important. So let's start moving everybody back. We hopefully aren't going to see this thing blow up on this turn. I don't think we are. I think we're actually okay. Now. We could hit this guy. We're not going to do that. Wait, who is this? So it's that guy. Okay. Let's take a chance here. Let's have Daniel. Let's have Daniel take a chance. He has a lot of health. So let's get a grenade there. And stop these guys from uh, doing quite as much damage as they have been doing. Now, they're still very much alive, but R is on the brink of death. Got let's it. get R out of there. And let's see what happens. The bomb is, is going to go off regardless, but now no one's in the radius of the bomb. We should be okay. This guy's moving. That's okay. This guy is attacking Daniel with a pistol, so he should be okay. He is, and he's returning fire. Now, as long as Daniel doesn't take more hits, which he might... As long as he doesn't take too many, he is okay. The bomb has gone off and we're fine. I am actually quite nervous. I'm not going to lie. This guy's moving up. I don't think he's going to get an attack in. This guy's got a remedy. Might not get an attack in. Okay. You are attacking. Who are you attacking? Oh, that was a hit. Oh my God. Okay. Right. What's going on here? Grover. Let's get you to move. Nice and quick. All Grover right. is getting out. No, that's Clyde. Sorry. Clyde, let's get you to move into there. Grover, you're going to be a minute, over. but that's okay. Uh, Maria, what are you doing? And Okay, Maria reloaded. Maria is not getting out of there. Jez is getting out of there. Marlena, go to there. You're not leaving until the next turn. Daniel is going to be able to fall back here. Not that far, though. And we might get attacked again. There is a chance. There is a real rough chance that something bad could happen here. I don't think the... Uh, I don't think these guards are going to be able to move far enough on this one turn to do anything, though. I think we might just pull this off. Roger. We might just pull this off. We might just have killed him and be able to get out of here without annoying anybody or tremendously upsetting anybody. Uh, let's have you escape yeah, combat. Grover. Oh, no. Grover. Grover. Why can't you move? 
Okay, Grover. Well, he, he can, but oh boy. Right, Grover needs to move to here. He's not going to be leaving on this turn, which has me really worried. But let's. What is that going to do damage wise? Is a shot going to be better? A shot might be better. 85% with a 29 crit. He's bleeding, I guess. Um, do we want to. Do we want to take this chance of uh, of not escaping here? It's Dan Daniel's the one that needs to get out. And R needs to get out. Maria does not have a lot of health. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No. I don't want to take this chance. I don't want to lose anybody. Marlena needs to leave. Because Marlena has no health. Uh, Daniel himself needs to leave because his health is very, very low. So, Daniel, leave. Me. R, leave. Out of my way. Grover is the only one left, and I don't think Grover is going to be able to get out. Oh, that Overwatch is bad. That Overwatch is so bad. I, he's Overwatching with a pistol, though. I don't think it will kill him. I don't... I think... We can do this. He missed! Oh, we're getting out! We did it! <laughs> I can't believe we just did it! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Not bad! <laughs> oh my god, okay. I can't believe that missed. Oh, okay. Boy, if I ain't the luckiest cab driver in all of Illinois, Oh my God! Okay. The acting mayor of Chicago himself in my cab. Where can, Where I can you start? take me? Is the question. I don't know. This is new to me. Sal, my dear fellow, I would appreciate it if you would take me to Mayor Thompson's office. As much we need to discuss, or take me to the South Side. Let's go to uh. Let's go to Mayor Thompson's office. Sal, my dear fellow. I would appreciate it if you would take me to Mayor Thompson's office. There's much to discuss about Chicago's future. Business never sleeps, huh? I tell you, Mr. Jackson, the city's never been in better hands. And sure don't your places look spiffy as ever. Admittedly, working in politics has had surprising, if not unwelcome, benefits. If you like, I could take the scenic route to Thompson's office. You could survey your empire on the way. I'd like that, Sal. Take it extra slow past the Dunbar Club, won't you? Good man. Interesting. Interesting. So what's the next step then? Is that that's it? Okay. Interesting. Okay, well, I said this would be the final part for uh, the Vice Kings, and it is. That was a little tense towards the end there, but we managed to get everybody out alive. And uh, yeah, I've had a lot of fun with this. I've had a lot of fun with this uh, this series. I know I, I've seen I've seen some comments here and there that are like, "Hey man, the views are low. He's gonna abandon this here." I, no, I, this game's a lot of fun, and I've just really enjoyed it. Uh, I've seen comments about he's gonna abandon city skylines or whatever. I, I, honestly, I haven't sat down and played through a game the way I did Empire of Sin in a long time. So give it a couple of days. There's probably gonna be another run on this game. In one way, shape, or form, it'll be a higher difficulty, uh, probably more empires, and, you know, basically full size. We'll do, you know, medium, the, the middle difficulty or something with a full size of the map and all of the empires and stuff like that. And I think what I want to do is I want to avoid speakeasies, because speakeasies you can stack very easily. I want to do an empire built on... Breweries and casinos, because you can improve casinos with, uh, with, with alcohol. But I also want to do, like, trading. I want to try and make money by trading with other empires and then, you know, have them start to rely on my breweries. So I think that's what we're probably going to do. 
Either way, thank you very much for watching the series. I hope you've enjoyed it. There is a link in the video description to uh, check out Empire of Sin that will throw a little bit of a kickback to me. So if you're interested, do have a look at that. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. It's been my absolute pleasure. And I will see you again very soon for a little bit more Empire of Sin. Bye bye